Buying a TV shouldn't be hard, but it kind of is. There are simply too many options out there, and it's way too easy to spend $1,000 on a whim these days. So when is the best time to look for a TV to save money, and what should the casual shopper look for? Well, it's my job to help you save money, and I geek out on things like TVs, so I'm gonna try to make it easy for you. Well, the first thing to think about is, can you afford to make a big purchase like a TV? Now, TVs can be expensive. Some of the highest quality models can top $3,000, but there are plenty of TVs under $1,000, which is good news. But again, you wanna look at your budget, and we recommend the 50-30-20 way of looking at your budget. This is where you divide up your expenses with 50% towards needs, 30% towards wants, and 20% towards savings or debt. And if that sounds kind of complicated, the NerdWallet app will divide up those expenses in the 50, 30, 20 for you automatically. And I hate to break it to you after you look at your expenses, I don't care how much TV you watch, a TV, it's probably gonna fall in the want category. Let's talk about the best times to buy. I'm gonna make it very easy for you because there are two best times of the year to buy, and that's the end of the year and the beginning of the year with one caveat. So the end of the year, it's all about Black Friday sales, Cyber Monday sales. They last all of November these days into December. And then there's also the beginning of the year, talking end of January, early February, and that really coincides with football, the Super Bowl. Retailers put TVs on sale for that. Uh, there's also new model TVs are getting ready to be released in the spring. Uh, and the caveat is, if you're looking for a model that's been out for a while, there's always a chance it could be on sale. We talked about when to buy a TV. Let's talk about how to buy a TV. First up, start with the size of the TV. Now, 55 to 65 inch TVs have kind of become the norm for the for the living room space, but you may be able to go bigger uh, because nobody ever said, I wish I had gotten a smaller TV. At least they never said that to me. And it's a great time to be alive because there are 85 inch TVs under $1,000 nowadays. Uh, and that's from brands you probably know, like LG and Samsung. So think about size and think about where you're gonna put it on what kind of furniture, if you're gonna hang it on the wall. And next up, Think about how you're gonna watch TV. You know, how do you view your streaming apps? Uh, a lot of TVs come with a built-in operating system uh, that you can stream the apps that you know and love. You may wanna plug in your own sort of stick, the Roku or the Apple TV or something like that. But consider this, if you find a model of TV that comes with an operating system that you like, like a Google TV or Roku built-in, that's gonna be one less wire that you have to hide if you're hanging it on the wall. All right, lastly, you wanna consider quality, but don't overthink this one. So let's start here. The, the, the standard for high definition is now 4K. I'm sure you've heard that term. So prioritize that. You're gonna want a TV that can show a 4K resolution picture. Uh, and then let's talk a little bit about technology, just a little bit. There are three kinds, at least three kinds that I'm gonna cover. There's more than that. You've probably heard the term OLED or O-L-E-D, uh, organic light emitting diode. If you care, you probably don't care. Just know this, that's gonna be the most premium sort of technology and the price point is gonna match that. It's gonna be a higher price. And then there is LED uh, and that is gonna be less premium and a little bit more affordable. And then there's something called QLED or QLED and that is gonna be a little bit more premium than LED uh, and a little less premium than OLED and that price will match that sort of point. So my nerdy opinion is I would say stick with LED to get the best price and buy the biggest TV that you can afford and that will fit your space. All right, a few more tips to help you make a smart decision. First tip, go to the store, check out the picture quality and the size of the TV IRL. There are still stores you can absolutely go look. You may even find that it's a good price and you might buy it at the store too. What a concept. All right, second tip. If you're buying an older model TV, make sure that you are getting a good price by running it through a price tracker like Camel, Camel, Camel. If you're buying on Amazon or the Honey Browser extension, just make sure you're getting the best price that you can on that TV. The last tip, uh, check the store or the retailer, wherever you buy it, check their price matching policies. If the price goes down after you buy it, you wanna make sure you get that lower price. All right, that's it. Assuming the time is right, go out there and find your dream TV. I'm Tommy Tindall, personal finance writer at Nerd Wallet. If you like today's video, hit the like button. Why not subscribe to the channel while you're at it? And I will see you in the next one.